Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today my beautiful bestie Nikki has come in and she is having a nice fresh set of acrylics. So we've gone ahead and done all our prep work and if you would like me to do a dedicated new and updated prep work video then please let me know in the comments and I will get that out for you so I can just refer you back to that if I don't always include it. I just find it gets repetitive or boring and I don't want it to become like mundane and it's another prep so if you do want to see one of them please do let me know i'm so freaking angry right now i just recorded the whole video and voiced over the whole video and it's all just been lost and now i've got to start again Ugh. so i'm going in with apple shine building a thin layer structure and then i am coming in <laughs> i'm really angry I'm now coming in with the Glitter Fairy Jasmine and this is a stunner. She's so pretty. She's from the Princess Collection. And these nails were inspired by Lucy Fall herself and a video that she actually did on YouTube. So I will leave the link to her video in the description box so you can go ahead and check her out on her channel. She is amazing and her glitters are amazing. And her videos are amazing, so please go ahead and check her out. And if you're not already subscribed to her, oh no, go ahead and do that. So then I'm coming in on the ring finger. I'm going to do a ombre with Apple Shine. And my room was a little bit cold today, and my door was open, so I think that was why the acrylic was a bit wet, or the the ratio was a little bit off today. Um, and at points it can look like I'm working a bit sloppy, but I promise you, I'm not. Well, I don't promise you. I probably am a little bit of a sloppy worker, but sometimes you just can't help it. So I've blended that onto the nail plate as much as I can, feathering it up so there's no harsh line. And then I'm coming in with a more. And what I do when I do a blend with any blend, any colour, um, the bead that I put on to cover the join, I will always drain the liquid out of the back. So that bead is nice and um, opaque so we get the nice true colour and it, there's not liquid. And then I will do the same again uh, for the cuticle bead, but this time I'm just placing her finger downwards as well so that gravity naturally pulls that product away from any of her skin. So when I'm happy with that blend, I'm going to go back and cap the pinky and I'm going to do it the same way I always do. So slightly wetter than usual so I can like let it glide into place and tickle it into place without pressing any air bubbles into it. We want this clear acrylic. Um, as clear as it is capable of being and then as well as just making sure that glitter is all nice and capped and we have a nice apex in place so we have a nice strong nail I did go ahead and cap the just the ombre on the ring finger but I didn't record that and now I'm coming in with crystal glass and just building a clear layer on this middle finger here I always try to do this in two beads. Um, it doesn't matter how many beads you take to do it. Um, everybody works differently. There's no pressure on trying to be like someone else because you're not meant to be anybody else. You work how you work. You do what works for you and your clients. So, you know, when you watch these videos and you think, oh God, she does it in this many beads and he's doing it in that many beads and don't pressurize yourself to try and be like anyone else. Their videos are great to help give you little hints and tips and ideas and just when you're bored to watch something but don't ever pressure yourself into being like them you're not meant to be like them so anyway after that epiphany <laughs> i'm coming in with this stunning glitter from the glitter fairy and this is persian prince i just I, ju I just have no words to describe how beautiful this glitter is i love him so much and then I'm ombre in with Jasmine as well. So they're having a little bit of sex on nail there. <laughs> uh, it just They're just beautiful. I love them. I loved them together. And even though it was a very subtle transition, like you can't really tell it's two different glitters, I absolutely loved it. And I'm just leaving them to set in place so they don't move around when I cap. And now I'm coming in on the index finger and we're going to do a full nail of Apple Shine. The way I like to work with my coloured acrylics, I mean, sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do, um, is I, I put the shape on the nail and it's nice and thin and then I will cap with my strength. Although with these colours you don't need to do that. Um, I, pre I just do because I like to try and make my colours last as long as possible. 
And this is the bit in the video now where I thought it looked a little bit sloppy. <laughs> But you know, we worked with it and we, we we came back, we pulled it back, so I wasn't too worried too much. And we are going to cap in crystal glass for that strength and structure anyway, so I wasn't too bothered. And then when I'm done with that nail and capped that nail, I will go back and cap that glitter nail. And I just want to drop it in here right now that I'm really sorry. Please don't set the thumb police on me. But I didn't record the thumb today. And I did do something a little bit different. I'm really sorry. I just literally did an ombre like you see there on the ring finger. And I just put the two glitters in a little trail in a swaggly line. You've seen me do it a million times. But I just didn't record it. So please accept my apologies for that. After this now, I think we then go straight into filing. So we're going to do the same filing method as always, and that is the side walls and the free edge. And I'll do this on all 10 nails. I'll then come in with my e-file and just go around the cuticle area and down the body of the nail. What, baby? Go down the body of the nail. Then I'll come back in with my hand file, but with my client facing, her hand facing me so that I can really perfect that shape and then just go over the nail if I need to. And then I'll take my white buffing block and just go again around the cuticle and down the entire body of the nail to make it nice and smooth. So then off film, we applied some Swarovski crystals and some crystals from CJP. So the ones from CJP that I used were the mint green opal crystals, um, which is what you see in the center of them. And then the other crystals are from the Princess Collection Swarovski wheel from the Glitter Fairy. <laughs> and it is uh, like a wheel of Swarovski crystals in all shapes and sizes and colors. And they go with the mixes that were made for the Princess Collection and they are stunning. Um, I'm top coating the nails and then I'll just take a small detailer brush and just take that top coat right around the back of those crystals because sometimes when they're in that position it's easy to catch them from like from coming from the cuticle area up and they can ping off and we don't want that so I just always take that extra precaution to go around with a detailer brush I'll cure them in the lamp come in with cuticle oil after they've cooled down and then that is the finished video I hope you love this set as much as I love this set I love it so much and I loved doing them I just think they look so pretty and I love mint green I love it so I want to say now I've left a little clip at the end for you to see. Thank you so much for watching as always and please give a like if you did like this video and leave a little comment. Um, I love you all so so much and I will see you all again in my next video. I love you. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Love you. Hello. Bye.